BRICS nations already have outpaced G7, and by 2027, this lead in favor of BRICS will become even greater. This BRICS had come out yesterday to talk about their successful payment service that was launched that is going to make an impact in the world economy. And President Putin himself has also announced on the British taking over the world in 2027, which he believed that the G7 are losing their grip and losing their power because the number of G7s, most of them cannot provide their natural resources, their AI, high tech, and so many things they need. Putin believed that most of the BRIC countries are the ones that have been sponsoring the world economy. And if the BRICS can come together, that means the G7 or the NATO are now powerless and BRICS is going to take over them in 2027. Watch as Putin say something about that in the video. Cumulative BRICS share in global GDP has doubled and the share of G7 in global GDP has uh, gone down and uh, BRICS nations already have outpaced G7 and by 2027 this lead in favor of BRICS will become even greater. This is obvious. This is evident. Uh, in some domains, BRICS can, uh, the humanity cannot exist without BRICS countries. I mean the food supplies and energy and also high-tech too, like in the AI application, we gain more competences and acquire leadership in some of the domains and subdomains of that. So this is the most tangible change. This is natural. The world keeps changing always and uh, new leaders emerge. So this must be taken for granted with calm and so we should build our relationships basing on that. And what distinguishes BRICS from other international groups? BRICS never was meant to against anyone. The Indian Prime Minister put it aptly of late. He has said that BRICS is not an anti-Western group. It's just non, a non-Western group. And this ha holds a lot of water and the BRICS does not counterpose itself to anyone. It is a group of nations that work in concert and have shared values and shared goals of development and take each other's interests into consideration. This is, will be the basis of our work in Kazan. Thank you. Armies in the world. And when NATO will uh, get tired of waging this war against us, I'll just ask them. We were ready to continue fighting, to continue the struggle, and we will have the upper hand. We'll win. We'll prevail. Мы готовы к продолжению этой борьбы. И победа будет за нами. And the president of South Africa has come out to make his own hints on the issue, talking about how successful the British will be by 2027, and how them, as African countries that are part of the British, are going to make a huge impact because of the high power of South Africa and the hope they are going to give to the people compared to what the G7 or the NATO are doing to the world economy. Information, BRICS has an important role in the world 
It has the potential to drive significant change in the global economy and international relations. The historic expansion of BRICS creates further opportunities to foster robust trade and development cooperation. The expanded BRICS group now covers 43% of the world's population. The group together accounts for 27% of global GDP and a fifth of world exports. The opportunities for cooperation and economic progress are immense. The BRICS Business Council has a crucial role in expanding trade between BRICS countries. As governments, we are committed to support the work of business. We look forward to the BRICS report of finance ministers and central bank governors to the BRICS summit on the strengthening of correspondent banking networks between BRICS countries and enabling settlements in local currencies.